I was approached by locals because the locals know that you're not a local one. And if you're filming, they'll ask you like, what you're filming? And it's not like, hey, what you're filming? It's like, what you're filming? They really want to know because you never know what they know. Border town, they have special regulations in Russia. So welcome to Russian apartment in St. Petersburg. I'm gonna go through and show you more about the, uh, the specific paper that you receive as a person who enters the border town. And I'm going to show you how it is look like and what does it mean. All right. So this is the, well, the addition to that uh, stay overnight in Ivangorod video or staying in general in uh, border cities of Russia, which are um, areas of special interest, meaning you don't have the right to be inside the area. Not even if you're a Russian citizen, you must have a special uh, a special document that gives you the permission to actually stay and actually even move. So there's two choices. If you go in by bus and enter in the Ivangorod area, you're going to be checked for papers. Same thing, for example, Viborg, border cities, which are specially uh, looked over. In that situation, you show the papers and they basically they know because if you're traveling in a tourist bus or like the transit bus that you are on a transit through the city into into the border area that's your permission to enter but it technically if you would uh, stop at Ivangorod and went for a dinner and then continued that's not uh, uh, that's not okay and you could be stopped and uh, I'm gonna talk about what would happen. But anyway, if you stay in overnight, technically, <clears throat> technically you, you're not supposed to because you as a tourist are just using Ivangorod as a transit um, town, um, border town. And uh, in Ivangorod, uh, FSB has given the right for you to be um, if you're crossing the border by walking and you wait, go into that uh, private bus that I've showed you on my channel, that's the area that Vitis, Vitis uh, hotel area. It's 25 meters from the uh, the uh, from the road that leads to towards uh, King Giuseppe and Saint Petersburg. So that's the right for you to be stay at 25 meters. If you go away from that area, you could be stopped, asked for papers in case you would look suspicious or touristy like and in that case they would say that you're not supposed to be here and they might take you away and take you away means uh, to back to the border or uh, i think that's my according to my knowledge they can take you to the furthest point to king giuseppe which is not a bad option but just in case uh, if you must stay overnight for example like i did and, uh, and sure, it's not 100%. They probably know you're in town entering the border. If you're a person of interest, they will find you. But if you're like, okay, probably it's not that important, especially if you're on a transit, but there's no buses during the midnight, like I came last time to the city, then I had to stay overnight in a hotel. Then I had to wait for the bus. And I went to just chilling, filming uh, Ivangorod Fortress, for example. That's a great tourist location. So technically you should not, but if you do, uh, the hotel will give you, they will uh, inform about you to FSB. And that's normal procedure. That's a safety precaution. That's, that's a good thing, guys. <laughs> so they are, are aware that you're staying overnight as well. Then in, in order for you to, um, to move around the city, you will get a special piece of paper from the hotel which states that you are staying where are you staying and the time of your stay meaning you have the right ish i think uh, technically you should have the permission from fsb but i have to my knowledge when i talk to a local person who's aware of these things nobody knows where to get that permission from so technically you're not able to get it even if you would like to like stay overnight in ivan Gorod officially so uh what you get is uh hold up there you go you get this type of paper and this is in addition to your um to your like a receipt from the hotel so the hotel so the hotel has all the information that you need about you and this is information about who's given the 
the the paper uh, given the uh, well from the hotel side and here it says for example для принимающей стороны либо иностранного граждан this is for uh, for, for for the receiver part of the uh, foreign citizen or in the case of uh, stating 3.1 article blah 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 so that's yeah migrational like uh, rules uh, towards the um, foreign citizens or people without citizenship and there's a lot of people in like uh, in Baltic region Baltic states that uh, the countries just don't give intentionally they'll give um, citizenships for them there's like hundreds of thousands of them i believe in in all three countries so it says uh, who's the person over here the information then the company targove dom vitis which is not the hotel hotel vitis it's just the uh the company then uh it says a signature then the hotel's uh, official uh of the organizational uh, stamp and uh, then it's this is important it states the dates which you are allowed to stay in so there's less some i don't know what these numbers mean but then it's 21st of march until midnight so basically even though you you probably come out if you're staying overnight so you have to leave before 12 from the hotel but you actually can stay technically you're technically you're staying at the hotel until the midnight of that date that's what i was told so yeah this is the certificate and also say states what number of uh, the key do you have etc so this is how it looks and you should carry that with you in case uh, you are stopped in a border town but it doesn't mean this is like a hundred percent thing this is just actually just shows that you're with good intentions and you're officially as official as you can get inside the town but uh, they're also like literally they told me not to walk around with a bag for example when i was i had three hours of uh relaxing time before the uh the minibus left to saint petersburg so she actually told me just leave your bag here because otherwise you would look maybe suspicious and you would be stopped more if you hang around in the areas that's understandable if you're a tourist you're not supposed to be there so like that and uh, then I also, of course, I filmed some cats and stuff. And just by having the camera out, I was approached by locals because the locals know that you're not a local one. And if you're filming, they'll ask you, like, what you're filming? And it's not like, hey, what you're filming? It's like, what you're filming? They really want to know because you never know what's, they you know. Border town, they have special regulations in Russia. But uh, the people are great. And uh, uh, interesting is that Ivan Gorod is evolving as a tourist city. Then I was said, but how is it for tourists if it's you, technically you're not able to come here as a tourist for foreign as a foreigner? I said, well, yeah, that's the situation. But mainly it's for like the locals, for the Russians, King Giuseppe, maybe Saint Petersburg, the uh, nearing area. That's what it's all about.